set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shackles. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Ooh, good thing I did that. I would have missed this bone jar. Yeah, come here. Corvo, can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it. But I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Okay. So much dust. It must blow down from the upper city. Where's the uh, staircase? My bed. Where's her bed at? <laughs> you. Her bunk upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Do they have her name on the door? Hey man, is there, is there a key around here? Gotta be in one of these rooms. Attention Dunwall citizens, Her bunk. be aware that looting of Ooh. evacuated More areas money. is a serious offense. And oh, there it is. Got it. Alright, so we need to go... Now what's this pub master room key? Pub master. Um... A door or something down here I couldn't open before. Lady Emily Caldwell was abducted some six months past at the moment of her mother's terrible work. Anyone with information related to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late Empress is required to speak to the city watch at once. Where does this go? The sewer. Alright, I guess I'm good here. I can go to bed now. Attention, Dunwall citizens. 
Due to the rise in the population of plague rats, you are warned to stay out of uninhabited buildings. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Well, I just want to catch the perv sneaking on the girl. Attention Dunwall citizens, the Ascendant. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Anyone around? What's up, girl? I'm sorry. Can't you see? I'm about to bathe. Oh, maybe you'd like some company. Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. Fine. What a cock block. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be All aware right. that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty is. You're part of this rebel, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No, not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless. So security will be very tight. Of course. You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. 
You'll have to find out which of the Boiled Women is connected to the Lord Ruth, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked it. The Boyle Costume Ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? <laughs> 